Hey everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I came in today to tell y'all that there is going to be a Bobby Brown biopic. I know by now all of you have heard that, so I just wanted to talk about it. Now, when I first heard that they were going to do this Bobby Brown movie, I was thinking, you know, what more could we learn about Bobby? Because there have been two movies now where his story was kind of told. Now, let me just start with the New Edition movie. I thought that the New Edition movie was very well done. I liked all the actors in it. And those three nights actually held my interest. And I think that they took the time to flesh out each one of those guys' personalities and how they came to be the men that they are today. And because they took the time to do it, you know, I applaud BET. It wasn't a rush job, and we actually got a chance to know the guys. Now, let's backtrack a little bit more. The Whitney Houston movie, y'all. I think that that movie should have been called The Whitney and Bobby Story. Because it was not, to me, a Whitney Houston movie. See, for me, a Whitney Houston movie would have started like when she was younger, she was singing in the church, and then showed you how she came to be the Whitney that we knew. That movie instead started, you know, after she had had some measure of success, and then it basically concentrated on the relationship between Whitney and Bobby. So I thought it should have been called The Whitney and Bobby Story. Now, this movie that BET is going to do about Bobby Brown. Y'all, when I first heard it, I always read the comments under the story that, you know, tells us that this movie is coming. And a lot of people were torn. A lot of people were 100% on board for this movie and they couldn't wait to see it. But then you had those other people who were saying, you know, negative things, of course, because, you know, they're still in that camp that believes that everything that happened to Whitney was Bobby's fault. Now, y'all, in the beginning, I was also in that camp. But as time went up past and a lot more stuff came out about Whitney, I understand that Whitney was a mess when she met Bobby and Bobby was a mess when he met her. And together, they were a train wreck. You know, I believe both of them came to that marriage with their own set of problems. And when they got together, it just wasn't good. And that's just how I feel about it. Now, this movie about Bobby, you know, I don't know, y'all. I don't think Bobby Brown should do it. And the reason why is because I think right now, because of the loss of Bobby Christina, a lot of people are having sympathy for um, Bobby, even those ones that have always blamed him for everything that happened to Whitney. I think after the death of Bobby Brown, uh, I'm sorry, of Bobby Christina, you know, and how we could tell it rocked Bobby to his core, a lot of people felt sorry for him. I think that if he does this story, you know, with BET, and he starts to tell some of his truths, you know, hopefully he'll be truthful when he does the movie. I think it's going to make people start to dislike him again, you know, because he can't tell his story without adding Whitney in it because she was such a big, major part of his life, you know. And if he shows some of the things that we all know that he did because he denies fighting her, you know, but it's a reality that he did. Now, I also know that Whitney was not the type to just stand still and let some man beat on her. You know, they said that he gave it and she gave it right back. I remember even stories back in the day when I was younger that her and her friend Robin would um, find out that Bobby was out somewhere cheating or at a club, you know, messing around with women or 
and they will ride down on him and double team him and whoop his ass. You know, I remember those stories. So, you know, we all know that they just had a very tumultuous relationship. So I'm wondering how they going to do this, y'all. How are they going to do this in such a way where you don't end up hating him? And, you know, with that, is Bobby Brown going to tell the truth about everything? Because I've seen him in interviews, and he's lying about a lot of stuff. See, for you guys who are hearing the story of Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown now, and who didn't grow up with them, you don't know all the stuff that we would hear on a day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month year about them. You know, when you're actually living it and not reading about them years later, you remember stuff that happened that may not always be reported years later. Them two were fighting. And Bobby Brown was something else back in the day when he was married to her. But it's like now he is kind of glossing over certain things. Like she says he spit in her face and Bobby um, Bobby Christina was witness to that, he says that never happened. He also said he only hit her one time. But if he's counting the one time that he split her lip, you know, that's going to look bad for him. So the one time you hit her, she you split her lip, and I think she had to get stitches, if I remember correctly. I just don't think, I just don't think he should do it, y'all. I think it's going to... Um, it's going to mess up his image right now. I think right now, like I said, a lot of people have sympathy for him because they know that he's getting older, he has his regrets, and he's probably thinking about all the stuff that he should have done or could have done to make Bobby Christina's life better. He's probably thinking about the you know the trials and tribulations that he had with Whitney and some of the things that he did wrong and he's trying to I think make it right you know um I don't think Bobby Brown feels in his heart that he wasn't guilty of some stuff but I think right now it hurts him too much to think about the wrongs that he did he did because those wrongs help contribute to what happened to his daughter if that makes sense to y'all both him and Whitney they they had a home life where I believe that their daughter saw some stuff and growing up in that home you know she was privy to a lot of stuff you know her parents drug use and I believe that because they were in an atmosphere where all that stuff was happening when that girl grew up you know she started dabbling in it and got with Nick Gordon and it destroyed that child's life so it's so much that Bobby's story has to cover because Bobby Christina and Whitney were such a big part of his life he spent his life being accused of being the downfall of Whitney you know, so I think right now he's trying to come out with his truth, you know, and I'm wondering, will he tell the truth? And if he does, and it comes out that he was really bad to her, then what will that do for his image? You know, I, I don't know, y'all. I'm um, on the fence about this movie. And will BET take the time to really flesh out the story? You know, I even saw people down in the comments saying, you know, are they going to show when he was dancing on stage and a, a vial of cocaine fell out of his pocket? You know, people are speculating on this movie, y'all, already. They are talking shit already. So, I don't know, Bobby. I don't think this is what you want to do. Now, granted, if he does it, I am going to be watching. Because I think more than likely, he's going to base this story 
on this book that he just did. And um, a lot of people said that the book is really good. So I'm hoping for Bobby's sake, I guess, you know, I don't know, y'all. Because um, I don't think he was innocent in a lot of stuff. And it seems like to me now he's kind of glossing over some stuff because he feels bad. So uh, let's see what this movie says, y'all. Let's see what they show us. Let's see what he is willing to let out in the public, you know, when he's telling his truth. So with that, y'all, this is the end of the video. But I want to know what y'all think about it. Do you think that he's beating a dead horse? You know, we've already had the Whitney movie. We had the New Edition movie, which was so good. And it, I think after the, the New Edition movie, after we saw that, we came away from that movie with a good feeling for all the members of the group. I think if Bobby does this movie... It might leave people with a bad taste in their mouth about him. So let me know what y'all think. I'm all over the place with, with whether I want it or whether I don't want it. So let me know what you think. As always, y'all, thanks for watching my video. And I will catch you in the next one.